Welcome race fans to Summer Thunder Round 2. I'm Brownie for RXS and the Thundercat Racing Association of New Zealand. And we are bringing you surf cross racing today from Waihee Beach. Conditions are looking very flat, although there has been a bit of a cross breeze, but today really is going to be about big props, fast starts and working with those rigs for top speed. Let's take a look at the leaderboard heading into round two. No surprises to see Bathrooms by Elite sitting in third as Michael Graves and Matt Sparks are just getting it done. These boys can podium in any conditions, but it is rough water they will be hoping for as that's when they will make a move. The big surprise here is Think Ladder coming in at second place. Steve Robinson, Josiah Diprose, the defending NZ1 champions, are not where they may have expected to be. They started the day in round one at Papamoa blazing fast, as always, until they went upside down seemingly in the middle of nowhere, which cost them the wind for round one. Speaking with Steve, he did injure his foot during the flip, however he reckons it will hold up as they plan on taking back their spot on top of the leaderboard today. However, sitting in that spot we have Grant McGinty and Campbell Morrison in the Kitchen People rig. They are racing well, keeping a fast but steady pace and just not making mistakes. Grant was surprised to find himself at the front of the pack in talking to him, however, he now knows they have the speed, they have the skills, and they have no intention of letting Think Ladder knock them off that perch. So, the question is, can the kitchen people hold off NZ1 and prove that round one was not a fluke? Let's get into the action and find out. Uh, outside of that, it's, it's, we're going to we're going to start the day as normal, intending to run five feet, intending on five lap races. Um, we do have a stand down period before the endurance run, so depending on how we go for time, that might drop down to four heats in the final. Um, but I'm intending to run five in the final. We'll just see how it all kind of goes. Um, I'm going to get you underway pretty quick because we want to get a heat or two done before we have to move our setup. So uh, yeah, get out there, have a warm up. Racing will be starting in about six or seven minutes.
and as you can see just behind me, Think Ladder is going with the propeller change. So they are the defending NZ1 national champions, but right now they are getting absolutely dominated by the kitchen people who have won every heat so far today. Uh, Steve, the driver of Think Ladder, has broken his foot yesterday and is struggling with his starts, and Grant from the kitchen people is an extraordinarily fast runner. So they've decided to switch strategies and are going from their top speed propeller to their fastest accelerating propeller in the hope that they can just beat the kitchen people to b-boy and then spend five laps doing their best to block them out. Uh, we'll see whether or not this strategy pays off in about five minutes time. Let's hear from our defending New Zealand champions, Team Think Ladder. That's pilot Steve Robinson and co-pilot Josiah Deprose with Giggle Talk Time. Sweet. So we're uh, Team Think Ladder, um, current NZ1 2019 season. Um, so yeah, had our first round yesterday, um, and we, we we're pretty happy apart from one flip that uh, that took us out, um, which was yeah a bit of bit of rough driving on my half. So um, but it's all good. We've we've regained ourselves and ready for the next round. Uh, Main sponsors Think Ladder this year, so a health and wellness app um, uses cognitive behavioural therapy um, to identify limiting beliefs. So um, it's pretty cool if you suffer from anxiety or depression, download it, check it out. Um, it's uh, it's a pretty cool app. Um, yeah, and second sponsor, uh, our sponsors Armour Financial. He's uh, been my financial service advisor. Um, he pretty much covers all your kind of private insurance, your health insurance and stuff like that. And he's a major support for any kind of motorsport and he's actually a good friend as well. So um, definitely a lot of help from Armour Financial this season, which is going to hopefully keep us in the top. Yeah, and last sponsor is OXS. Made our carbon floorboards. All, all in all, pretty good bugger. Um, does all our footage as well. He's holding the camera now. Thanks, Sam. You're the man. Green flag is up as pilots head up the beach with their keys in the air to signify that they are ready to start the race. With first and second orbit locked up for the day, the fight to watch in this final for third is between Total Lubricants and Bathrooms by Elite who are locked up at 73 points apiece.
There goes the flag, and we are off. And a rare fumble with the key there from the kitchen people, which has already cost them precious seconds. But a cracker of a start from Bathrooms by Elite and Total Lubricants, who are already leading the charge. And we are on board with Total Lubricants here, who are seriously hustling. But Bathrooms by Elite do have the inside grid, so who will get to that turn boy first? Total Lubricants, Bathrooms by Elite and Think Ladder, neck and neck as we hit the back straightaway. With Matty from Bathrooms by Elite trying to protect his face from the rooster tail, from these other two boats who have managed to box these boys in. And the defending champions, Think Ladder, find themselves in the lead. They have struggled with these sprint buttons and sprint starts today after their pilot, Steve Robinson, broke a small bone in his foot at Papamara when they flipped. Now on board with the kitchen people who have used their top end speed to get ahead of Bathrooms by Elite. I spoke to Grant before the race and he really wanted a clean sweep off the board today. So right now, these Total Lubricant boys are in their way. It all looks very civilised out front with the two race leaders right now, but I'm sure these Total boys are well aware that the kitchen people are waiting just behind them, hoping for that door to open. However, it's this team, Bathrooms by Elite Total Lubricants just need to stay ahead of. Smurf trying to chase down that Bathrooms by Elite boat. They are a little bit too close for comfort. Two laps to go as we just rounded the Demon Energy lap marker. Still plenty of race so anything can happen. Back on board with Total Lubricants as they trail Think Ladder. These boys are more focused on the teams behind them though than who's ahead of them. An unfortunate timing there as they have to jump off and back over this wave. This may just be the opportunity kitchen people need to make a move. And sure enough, the kitchen people are now right there. Will it be enough or can Total hold them off? Lewis Carlisle's helmet cam for the front of Total Lubricants showing that the pressure is now on as we are on the back straightaway once again for a top end sprint. Smurf has made some ground on Bathrooms by Elite trying to put the pressure on. Although I have a feeling the bathroom boys will not be that focused on what Smurf is doing. They are more concerned with catching up with Total Lubricants who just refuse to budge from that second place right now. Think Ladder still comfortably out in front. Total will not be trying to challenge them and enter that risky battle. As we now enter lap 4, passing the Demon Energy lap marker. And Total is starting to create a gap between themselves and third place. And that'll be helped by a bit of bad luck there from the kitchen people as that little munter wave has forced them way out wide, leaving the door open. Both Bathrooms by Elite and Smurf have driven straight through it. This is great news for Bathrooms by Elite who are now directly behind the team that they need to beat to secure their place on the podium. And Grant calling Campbell back in the boat to get some more air into the tunnel as they find themselves in a very unfamiliar fifth place. And riding with Smurf on the back straightaway as the kitchen people turn on the jets. Smurf might need a second engine as there is virtually nothing they can do but sit back and be overtaken. Teams rounding the Demon Energy marker one last time as they head into the final lap. Think Ladder and Total Lubricants way out in front. The question is now whether Bathrooms by Elite can hold off the kitchen people. This may once again come down to the co-pilot sprinting up the beach. And Think Ladder bringing home the win. You can hear our very biased finish line marshal screaming in celebration. She is the pilot's wife, so we'll forgive her for that one as Josiah once again strolls through the finish line to uh, grab that number one card. And here comes a relaxed looking Total Lubricants in second place, locking up this podium spot for the day. Well done, lads. Secured third place overall. And Maddie Sparks getting ready to jump out of the bathrooms by Elite. Boat rounding out our top three, a good result, even though it's not quite the podium finish that they were hoping for. And a bit of battle going on here for fourth place as Smurf are trying to get back that spot they lost to the kitchen people. But it doesn't get much closer than this. Here you go, Robbing's racing, bit of fun going on there, but it's the kitchen people that will get the best of that one. With both teams bringing it home to round out our top five. <laughs> Taking a look at the overall leaderboard at the end of round two, Bathrooms by Elite just hanging on to third place for the series, but there is nothing in it. Your defending champs, Think Ladder, 
finding themselves in second place once again as these boys, Grant McGinty and Campbell Morrison, the kitchen people, put on a masterclass of Thundercat racing, winning every heat and securing a top five finish in the final. For round three, we'll be switching gears into endurance racing around Matakana Island. Bathrooms by Elite and Think Ladder are the favourites for endurance type events, but as we've seen already, anything can happen. I've been Brownie, and I will see you at round three of Summer Thunder 2020.